Hi, this is Jeanette with Backroads Books by 21 Crows. I'm working on a new book on haunted hikes and ghost towns for my ghostly series, and I thought I'd share a couple stories with you. One place, which is close to my heart, is an old abandoned railroad tunnel deep in the woods. Fifteen years ago, I shot this footage there. If you look just beyond my young daughter, you can see a ghostly figure. Today, I'm hiking back to that small Appalachian community in Southern Ohio with Lucy, my dog, who has offered to let me strap my GoPro on her for the video. So let's go visit Moonville Tunnel in Southeastern Ohio. There was once a small mining community along the Cincinnati and Marietta Railroad tracks, dubbed Moonville. Now there are a lot of speculations as to how the town got its name but most believe it came from a previous property owner. You can visit Moonville. It's along the Vinton County Rail Trail. It is only about a 40 minute drive from Old Man's Cave. Most of the roads are paved. It is just about the last mile when things get a bit scary with gravel and cliff edges, but enough about that. Although only a handful of families live there, people from neighboring towns like Hope Furnace, Ingham Station, and Zaleski used the straight path of the train tracks cut through the steep hills. During the 1800s, many logging companies, iron furnaces, and coal mining businesses popped up in the region. When work was sparse in one area, laborers walked or hopped a train to commute to another area. Between a couple properties in Moonville, two trestles were built over the winding Raccoon Creek, and a tunnel was dug through one particularly high hill. The trestle, tunnel, tracks, and trains, and those using them became the perfect mix for deaths in the area. Many died along the tracks. Some were not quick enough to cross the trestle or pass through the tunnel and cuts when a train careened past. They met their deaths between wheel and track. The town bully was a local farmer. He picked on anybody smaller than himself. One night he got thrown out of a bar in Zaleski and never made it home. They found his dead body several days later. Most believe he was murdered, but his killer was never found. Now his angry ghost tosses pebbles from the top of the tunnel at those walking underneath. In 1880, a train barreling down the tracks hit head-on with another. The engineer, named Theodore Lawhead, died. Not long after, engineers coming down the tracks were stopped by a white ghost carrying a lantern. A Chillicothe Gazette from January of 1895 mentions it. The ghost of Moonville, after an absence of one year, has returned and is again at its old pranks, haunting B&O, freight trains, and their crews. An old lady in the community was walking along the tracks and did not hear the train. It hit her. She must have been wearing perfume when it happened. Folks smell lavender where she was killed and a ghost has been seen walking the trestles and tunnel. I hope you've enjoyed taking a hike with Lucy and me through the Moonville Tunnel. You can also buy my book, Moonville, It's Past, It's Ghost, It's Legends, and Amazon and local gift shops.